What's up, guys? It's Dead, and this is episode 27 of the FIFA 22 Create a Club Caramo Dizella FC. And as you guys can see, we have a new, a brand new stadium, and it's basically uh, an upgrade. It's uh, 53,000 capacity right now. Anyway, we're in the eighth season. We're in the eighth season, which means that we have just two seasons left in this Caramo. And before we start, this is our home kit. It's gray is no longer the secondary color. It's now black. And you know it gives this um really really cool look on the jersey. So like you know the navy blue is kind of like blending into the black. So I just felt like it was nice. So I just used that. And and on the socks too. I, I don't know if you guys can see the socks. Like the stripes are also on the socks as well. Then for the away kit, we have this jersey that is similar to the Arsenal away kit from last year. And I mean I like it. And it's with our colors gray and pink. Alright, so before we go into any action, these are the players that I, I'm, I'm looking forward to signing this season. The top target is Florian Witt because uh, this guy, Suho, is going to be, Suho is going to be uh, dropping from that 90 rating. And this guy is just 25, which means that he's, unless he has peaked in potential, like the mistake I made with this guy, what's his face? The mistake I made with Bellingham then he will not be able to get to 90 but i just hope that he's not going to be picking 89 and i just really 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 want him to get into the 90 so that he can play in the in the midfield where folding is and folding can go up to the wing and then we have this guy from arsenal Arthur Okonkwo. he's 26 he's younger than the first guy i mentioned and he seems like he's supposed to be a good good keeper so i'm just waiting for his couch report then we have Varchi Tovalton. if this guy is not over 85 i'm not going to be buying him I'm just going to go for Torvalton instead. So he's going to like uh, be switching with Donnarumma because he's still a really, really good keeper and he's actually a lot cheaper now. Then for our right back or left back options, we have Ainsley Midland Niles because we have Davies and Bakari and those two guys are the only left and right backs that we have. So it would be nice to at least have a substitute. And then he also plays in the in the DM position as well. All right, so there's been a transfer offer for Suho from Sevilla, and he's our captain. And I think that I really want him to at least play to the end of the series. So I'm going to be rejecting that offer. All right, so we want to go for our top target this season, Florian Wubitz, and they want us to offer between 124 and 169. What's his? Okay, his uh, transfer value is one. 14, which is basically 115 so i'm going to drop this down to that amount and then i shouldn't really go over 140 for this guy so let's see how it is then Torvalton, i'm waiting for this okonko guy to um, be done with the scouting and then make an out i'll wait for his scouting report to be done before i offer for him all right so apparently we could not get an offer from this guy for this guy from aston villa because they said our initial offer was too low so i'm going to have to wait a bit for his uh for them to be open to negotiations again all right so there's been a transfer offer for graven birch and to be honest this guy has been here a long ass time he's been here for i think five four five years and he's just 26 which is what makes me really like him but i think it's going to be time for him to move on he's going to be going to chelsea of all clubs that's going that's going to suck no doubt about that so i guess i'm going to have to be looking for a new dm if i want to accept this offer all right, so I wasn't able to find a good enough DM that I really like. So I'm going to be transferring Bakari to the DM position. And then we're going to be getting Rhys James straight off the bat for our right back position. So we're going to be offering for Rhys James. They want between 61 to 63. And well, that is exactly what I'm going to do. But let's just take this down to 50, 55 because we're a cheapskate. Oh, and I forgot that I wanted to sell Graven Birch. We're supposed to give them... Okay, they asked for what exactly? They asked for 208. And we're supposed to do between 185 and 271. To be honest, 208 is actually pretty good. I mean, I, I could probably get more if I delegate, but I'm actually pretty content with that. Or maybe I'm not. So, wow, that is actually a lot. Don't sell the player for less than 200. Okay. And then start negotiations at 250. That's what I want to do. So let's see what they can do. Okay, so these guys want to give me 304 fucking million. And Jack Grealish for Devo. That is 
that is fucking crazy that is so crazy and it's actually tempting just that i'm going to have like over 700 million in the bank if i if i go for this deal and the gravel merch deal but i'm not tempted devil I'm, i mean he really hasn't been performing that much lately but i still feel like he's a really really crucial player to the team he's an og he's an og and he has made it through eight seasons or that or that through seven seasons and well two more seasons left so i mean he can make it all right so this keeper guy happened to be a lot lower than expected i thought he was actually going to be like over an 80 but he's not so i'm just going to be removing him from here and we're going to be going for torvaldson instead so his transfer offer is 120 and he's 30 already so i think i'm just going to go for 130 spot on and i really do not want to go over 150 so let's just oops let's just leave it at that then for midline now i mean this guy has to be the cheapest of them all and i'm just going to you know wait what is transfer offer exactly uh 21500 so i'm just give them i'm just going to drop it down to 20 and let's see what they say all right so chelsea has have accepted for 229 basically 240 million and i'm just going to accept that so it's left for him to negotiate with chelsea and if he wants to leave then he's going to be in Stamford bridge next season rather this season all right so the offer for Rich james has been accepted so i'm just going to delegate that he's the first player that's going to be coming to our team he gets 170 currently so let's just take up to 175 and i, I think you should be good with that so waiting for midland now the offer for torvald zane actually broke down so we're just going to chill i think what's best to do will be to chill till uh next season because i mean we still have edward mendy i mean he's dropping in rating and he's retiring this season so next season we'll, we'll, we will come back for two routes in all right so they have accepted for 175 and the three-year contract no release clause his squad rule is sporadic that is pretty weird but i mean right now he's going to be going into that right back position and bakari is going to be entering the center defensive midfielder position all right, so the offer for Midland now has been accepted. They went for 21,300 and it's time for his contract, his contract, uh, two years, sorry, he will get to 86,000. So I'm, I'm going to just take that up to 100 and I mean, that should be, that should be unrejectable. And of course they did accept 100. So he is now officially in our club. So that is two players, two defensive minded players that we are getting this season um midland nows and rich james so midland nows can actually come in for both bakary or rich james if whichever one i feel like all right so the first match that we're going to be playing in this season is the one against everton with the F fa cup community shield or the fa community shield and we have lost two years in a row three years in a row to liverpool and it's really annoying that we're facing another side from from mercy side but let's see what we are able to do in this match and we lose it of course of, of course we fucking lose it we are like it's it, it's it's impossible to win this trophy it's fucking impossible but we move we don't really give a fuck so whatever happens happens i really don't care so everyone should just go die all right so the negotiations with this guy are now back open so we're just going to respect ourselves and go for exactly what they tell us and wherever they go with then i'm going to be pretty okay with that and as you guys see there we have 476 million in the bank all right so they have accepted for 136 0.5 million and i'm going to accept that no qualms there he, what was he getting 160 so right now he's going to let's just keep it at 160 and i mean he, he really shouldn't reject all right so i've accepted the offer for florian rich so he's the latest player that is in our squad and the best the best um deal we're making in this season all right so the first match i'm interested in playing has to be this one against liverpool and we are we're done with all the transfers they're looking for so i don't really think that there's anything that should be holding us apart from the youth the youth players that are going to be coming in every 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 month so i'm just going to be simming to the first of every month just so that i can uh, deal with those guys and then after that i'm going to what the fuck is happening we're losing and we're drawing in our first two matches in the premier league that is complete shit that shouldn't be happening but it's happening we win against manchester united and we are here on the first okay so we actually got a serious amount of players this time we got this guy lucas jordan jordan from france and then there's one other guy that we got that was really good yeah this guy 
Guilherme Pinto from Brazil. So those two guys are actually the main guys that we got just now, and they're actually really, really good. Anyways, I'm just going to sim all the way to the Liverpool match because I have gotten the objectives for the the youth part of our objectives and we're actually doing well against Watford and Chelsea we beat West Ham we beat Huddersfield we beat Mould I would like to see the result against Crystal Palace there uh match against Aston Villa we win it match against Benfica we win it as well the match against Benfica is coming up as also we lost against Leicester City that that is pretty annoying I like to see what we did there as well then to Everton 5-1 well that was a really really huge lead then to Spurs, 2-2. Two, two. That's the second time we're joining against Dortmund. They really should be, shouldn't be that big of a problem. And we are here in the match against Liverpool. We got 3-1 against Brighton. 2-0 against Benfica there. And then 2-0 against Crystal Palace. So, I mean, after those two losses, we haven't... Uh, okay, after those two losses, only this Leicester match that we lost again. So, that's actually a pretty good run. All right. Alright, so it's crazy news that we're actually on the top of the table, but we are drawing on points with Manchester City. The only thing good for us is that we score goals like crazy, and that is why we are five points ahead of them on goal difference. So this match against Liverpool is going to like boost us again. So let's see what this team can do in this match. Alright, so I'm starting Verts and Kamavinga rather than Devo and Foden. So let's see what they're going to be able to do. This is the first time that I'm going to be playing with Bakary on that DM position. And this is the first time I'm going to be playing with James. Also, Verts as well. The front three still remain the same. And let's see what we can do against against Liverpool. Sorry. Well, the rain has been lashing down in the build-up to the game, and it's still lashing down here at Anfield. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Liverpool against the Blades. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Roll through to the keeper. The attack just fizzling out in the end. This looks interesting. Play towards the back post. to make contact in that fashion and it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see simply stunning well here's the replay and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging someone to get on the end of it and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there Mason Greenwood Takes aim and just narrowly wide in the end. So far. Teammate available. Laid into the center. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult. Said. Attacking possibilities for the Blades. Might be a chance here. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish. Which gives... Well, spot on with that challenge. And they could face difficulties here. He had to score, and he does. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor. But he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Fruitful-looking attack. No potential danger. Well, far too much elevation there. One with 79 minutes played. 
Many thanks, Alex. He's in behind. There's still danger here. Time is not on the side. This corner ends as they look for an equaliser. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. They're really closing him down here. Devoe. Time and circumstances against Liverpool. But still, they might hit back. A goal! Sheer excitement! Level again here! Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it. Camavinga. They could really get at the opposition. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Well, the two sides still. And so the final whistle has sounded, and this game will go into the... All right, all right. So that was a good match. It was a, it was a good match, but it was also a really annoying match because the two goals that we considered were all our fault. It's just the fucking slip up at the back. The second goal wasn't really that much of our fault. It was just the vote just didn't play that ball up the field on time. And the first one, Mita Niles, completely fucked us up. And, and once he scored that first goal, I was just so scared. And this happened. Anyways, that was a very good match from Fritz. And I would like to... Let's just sim all the way to the first. Because there's a player that I would like to get. He's a left, he's a left midfielder. And he, he, he might actually be a pretty good substitute for Devo, just that we have a bunch like our our squad has enough depth that i'm buying too many players and most of the guys are going to be in the reserve for most of the season like hudson odoi for example we, we lost against leeds and we drew against burnley that is fucked up what did we get against sheffield united let's for one that that was actually a pretty good pretty good match and this is the player but apparently he's not being scouted and I have no idea why he's not being scouted. I'm just going to scout him, and when his um, uh, offer comes out, then I will see if I should get him or not. But apparently, I cannot scout him, so I guess we're just going to have to wait till next season. I have no idea what um, staff busy cannot assign to Adil our TJ needs, but I don't know really. Right, so the transfer window, and I actually want to sim through the matches like this so that I don't miss any crucial thing. And I actually think it's better because I actually like trust this simulation more than than the normal calendar one and that's the good win Zahid, Zahid and Bakari get the goals for us all right so I'm going to sim in this match against Warsaw as well and we are going to win it I'm pretty confident and that's a very very whooping win we have Foley, Midler, Niles, Greenwood and Hudson Odoi getting the goals for us all right I think I'm done with all of the uh transfer deals and I would actually like I would actually like to play against Manchester City, but they're not anywhere close by. They're all the way in April, and that is a long way to go. And to be honest, there's a lot of UEFA Champions League matches that are going to be in between that time. So I actually don't know what actually don't know what to do. So what I'm going to do right now is that I am going to sim towards this Manchester United match and then I will sim it like with the normal quick sim and then how did we draw against Huddersfield and we drew against Chelsea as well and then we drew against Swansea what the fuck all right so we, we beat Swansea which means that we are actually going to the next round and then for this match I'm just going to sim it I forgot to put Davies back in the squad and we just barely win it Devo, Zaid and Greenwood are the ones that get the goals for us Back to this, this is actually a very tempting offer, and I know there is this match, so we're just going to sim all the way to this Manchester United match. There should be, I mean, if we lose this first Champions League match, we're going to have to, okay, so I'm just going to be counting on these guys that they win it, and they win the, the semi-finals, and for this one, they win it, so we are through to the next round of the Champions League. I had no doubt about winning that one, because that impo Empoli FC and they, re they really weren't having any chance and I don't know why we are drawing so many matches to be honest I'm going to play this match against Manchester, Manchester City and then I'm going to sim the one against Leipzig then 
I will most likely the next matches I'll be playing will most likely be FA Cup final and the Champions League final. All right, so Vert has reached a 90 rating, and then Foden is going to be playing for Soho because Soho has dropped down to 89, and that means that the captain's armband is going to be going to Upamecano until um, Soho comes back into the match. So Soho is still the captain, but the but Upamecano is just the on-field captain for now. Devo is doing really well. He's at, he's, he's at a 95 now, and it's actually funny that we have an all left footed front three. But anyways, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 1,000 likes. Thank you so much for 600 likes. And I forgot to say Happy New Year at the beginning of this video. But Happy New Year anyway. And Merry Christmas. Because I also didn't post any video for like a week. And I'm actually really, really sorry about that. Anyway, so I'll talk to you guys after this match. A game that could go a long way towards deciding who will be crowned champions. What a match in store. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, the weather has certainly cooperated. Beautiful conditions here at the Etihad Stadium. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City against the Blades. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. He has very much been the talk of the town going into this match, playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. This should be one to savour. Manchester City get the contest underway. Who can he pick out? Well, nothing untoward happened. And in with a real chance. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with... Attacking possibilities for real chance. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really... Jordi Schouten. Well, visionary passing less than convincing and there it is still life left in this game and they have the momentum now well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself and then the shot is emphatic now potential danger and the keeper's hand does the trick and a goal it is but offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was Action just... coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Manchester City taking on Watford. Useful looking ball. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So unlucky not to score there. Cracking effort, you have to say. Can he finish? What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. 
Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Game coming up. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Getting forward. Can he finish them off? He's done it. What a climax to this game. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. On to Jesus. Possession one. Oh, a lovely ball. Can he keep his composure? Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take advantage of it. Now, well, I'm not... Neil with 88 minutes on the clock. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And in with a real chance. Surely. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple... Jördi Schouten. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for the visiting... All right, so that's the end of this match, and we have demolished Manchester City 5-2. <laughs> that was a really, really good effort from Greenwood at the end there to give Zay the hat trick. And to be honest, I'm really happy. One thing I'm happy about is the fact that this is the second match and it's the second time that Devo is doing this thing where he gives the ball away stupidly and it costs us a goal. I mean, the goal was fucked up because what the fuck was that skill, to be honest? But anyway, we moved, we beat them 5 2, it's nothing to be worried about. and all right, the next match is here against RB Leipzig and I'm going to be saving it. Hopefully, we can come out with the win and if we do not start, it's going to be very, very fucked up. And we do. It was really close. We draw with them 1-1. Bakari scores the goal. He has the scoring goal now that he's playing the CDM position and that is... I'm actually pretty okay with that. All right, so next match is the Champions League is going to be against Juventus but I'm just going to be simming to this match against uh, West Ham so I can play that. I think that's the final for the Carb the semi-finals for the FA Cup and this is actually pretty annoying that we just drew three matches in a row I'm not I'm not very used to that but I mean it is what it is and yeah the semi-finals of the FA Cup and I'm, I'm going to be using the same squad that I've been using ever since and Soho is still playing and they fucking beat us they fucking beat us and Bakari gets a red card that is fucked up on so many levels oh god I mean we we won the FA Cup last season I wasn't really expecting to lose that much, but I mean, it is what it is. We're still supposed to be focused on the Champions League and the Premier League. And let's see what we're going to be able to do in this match. So I'm going to sim all the way to the second leg and we draw the first leg, which means that I'm going to have to sim the second leg of this Champions League match. That is, that is fucked up. Which, but I mean, I mean, the good thing is that it's just one match that we have left to play. That is not a good thing anyway, to be honest, but I mean, it is what it is. Alright, so I'm bringing my A game into this match, all 90 squad, and I mean, beating Juventus in their own home is actually one hell of a task, but let's hope that we are able to do it. Fingers crossed, and fuck, we do not. Oh, uh, crap, 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 crap. So, no Champions League football this season, no FA Cup. Huh. Alright, I mean, it's sad, it's sad. I mean, I, I just really want us to be able to win these matches. Uh, I mean, we have two more seasons to try and win the Champions League. I mean, our confidence rating has dropped all the way down to 56 because we just dropped points and we are... What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Alright, so... We are going... Okay. I have no idea what is happening, to be honest, but let's see... Let's see what we can do. We're going to send this match against Arsenal and we should win it and we do. So that is one one point closer to Chelsea if I'm not wrong. And I'm going to play this match against Crystal Palace. So let's hope that we win against Leicester. We draw against Leicester and we win against Aston Villa. So are we going to have a no season, a no trophy season? 
No, we have a fucking trophy season and all we have to do is defeat the team that we're supposed to be playing, Crystal Palace, and that is going to be a piece of fucking cake. So let's jump into the match and settle the dispute with Chelsea once and for all. I mean, there's no way that we're going to be losing this match. So let's just look at the lineup that we got here. I want to put Foden out wide, so I'm going to just do that. Bakary. Okay, so I think I think we should be good. Bellingham or, or let's put Kamavinga in for a while. He hasn't he hasn't started in a while, so I mean it's going to be okay to put him in. He's a 92 rating. And yeah, Reece James Reece James is really the only weak link in our team, but I mean it's I'm still okay with him. He hasn't really fucked up that much. I mean the only person, the only player that has really fucked up is Maitland Niles and I mean Devo, but like you know, Devo is a freaking like situated player, so it's not exactly replaceable. Alright, so this is the match for all the marbles. We are at Selhurst Park and we have come to kill. We have legit come to kill. I forgot to check the kids, so let's hope that the kids do not actually clash. And they don't. They actually they actually don't. So we are we are good, I think. I think it doesn't clash because ours is basically black, so I mean we're good. Anyway, so this is the last match of the season. If we lose it, there's a chance that Chelsea are going to be the ones that lift the Premier League. And this is going to be the sixth season in a row that we're going to be winning the champ the Premier League. And I mean it's really it sucks that we're not going to be getting any any uh cup cup trophies this season, but we just have to keep trying for that Champions League. And it's really painful that we actually can't. I think next season we're just going to focus on the Champions League only and play the important matches that are Champions League, rela Champions League related. Anyway, so this is where I'll be ending the video. Obviously, I'm going to play the match and then you guys are going to, you know, witness the victory at the end, at the end of the episode and at the end of this match so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're on the road to 1000 we are over 600 right now thank you guys so much for all the support and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace Zaid Devoe Alfonso Davies not to be advised giving the ball away there and in it goes we can't say yet for sure but it could be a title winning goal no wonder they're celebrating can they hold their nerve now Well, let's look at the replay. They move the ball so well, just waiting for an opening. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Campaign, a massive loss for the club, Stuart. Well, it's a great shame because he's been a joy to watch over the years. But he's certainly going out Oh, well, wait the top. a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Yes, and it goes! A healthy lead, and they can only throw away the title now. Well, they've been fantastic all season, and today just rubber stamps it. Just need to see it out now. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it. Oh, showing excellent vision, and running in behind. And no problems whatsoever. Behind. And no problems. in possession and this might not be the ideal situation for them oh terrific save from the keeper well that's just a... all hands on deck opportunity here well not every keeper would have been that brave well he read it brilliantly didn't he top stuff from the keeper 
almost at full time and I'll tell you what playing away from their home patch has been oh Derek this is a big moment here and a goal that's his brace they just can't keep him quiet well as you can see he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace and then it's a decent finish that's a very good goal you have to say they will be worthy champions and still trying to get the shot off. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here. And a tidy challenge. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Chances on. And there it is, that will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. And the referee has blown for full time. It's official now. The champions have been crowned. Well, if you win the league, Derek, you've been the best team. And they certainly have been. And what great scenes we're seeing. Just look at the joy down there. They fully deserve this. They've been magnificent. Their goal to be the best team in the league. And they've hit the target. Well, they certainly have. They've been consistent. They've been relentless. They've been outstanding. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.